found this actually this uh, op-ed that was published uh, uh, this morning over on on um, uh, raw story, but it, it was originally published by Sabrina Hake uh, on her Substack uh, piece. She's a, a a lawyer and a and a columnist. Excuse me. And she's talking about how propaganda is dividing our country and how propaganda has become basically a, a business model for multiple media outlets, particularly uh, the ones that she identifies are uh, the Fox News and uh, Epic Times, uh, which I believe is funded out of China, and the Washington Examiner on the right. I think Epic Times is associated with Falun Gong. I, I, I may be wrong, but I believe that to be the case. Um, and she points out that, you know, one third of the country thinks Trump won the 2020 election. I mean, that's how, how bad this is, the situation is. Donald Trump lies and people Folks, believe him. He lies some more and more people believe him. He keeps lying, he's consistent in his lies and people just, you know, more and more, hey, you know, he wouldn't say that if it wasn't true, right? I mean, that's pretty outrageous. So what she's arguing is that we need a new fairness doctrine, essentially. And she points to the 1969 Supreme Court decision, Red Lion Broadcasting, uh, which upheld the old fairness doctrine. Uh, the Supreme Court wrote, is the purpose of the First Amendment to preserve an uninhibited marketplace of ideas in which truth will ultimately prevail, prevail rather than to countenance monopolization of that market. And... Uh, so she's arguing that, you know, we need an updated fairness doctrine. Like, like in the UK, uh, they have a, what's called the due, due impartiality requirement, uh, which requires both accuracy and impartiality in the news in the UK. She points out that online disinformation is completely out of control. Elon Musk uh, over at Twitter has, you know, handed Twitter over to anti-Semites, white nationalists and fascists. And then, you know, when... <laughs> when the business world goes, hey, that's pretty awful. Uh, you know, we're not going to advertise with you anymore. He blames the Anti-Defamation League. Uh, she, say, she writes, networks will invoke the First Amendment as grounds for avoiding government intervention, but the First Amendment has never served as a blanket shield from regulatory oversight. It does not shield electoral flaw, th fraud, threats, obstruction, incitement to riot, defamatory speech, or yelling fire in a crowded theater, unless there's an actual fire. Those profiting from them will not curb their ratings, boosting excesses voluntarily. In other words, as long as Fox News can make money telling lies, I think you, can, you could build an argument, particularly given the billions that now reside in the, in the bank accounts and the money bins of the Murdoch family, I think you could build a, a, a fairly strong argument that you know they may or may not believe the BS that they're shoveling out to the American public, but they're making a fortune off it. And what Sabrina Haik is saying is, you know, you, you got to stop this. She quotes James Madison. He says, uh, knowledge will forever govern ignorance. People who mean to be their own governors must arm themselves with the power which knowledge gives. In other words, she writes, democracy depends for its survival on an informed public. An addictive angertainment is the opposite of information and is ripping us apart. I think it's, you know, an absolutely brilliant analysis and, and absolutely true.